present plays from the four corners of the world. Comedy, drama, suspense, true life adventure in Tuesday Theatre. Throughout the world, oil companies have been searching for an answer to oil fatigue. Shell found it. New Shell Super, the oil that stays as good as new from one oil change to the next. New Shell Super, today's best motor oil. For new ideas in action, you can be sure of Shell. New Autumn Harvest Wines bring out the adventure in your everyday. Think of the walks, the picnics, the long, cosy evenings by the fireside. Then think of the Autumn Harvest range of wines and turn those everyday occasions into adventures. Autumn Harvest, from the Stellenbosch Farmers Wineries. Autumn Harvest, wines you can afford to enjoy more often. Autumn Harvest. This week in Tuesday Theatre, we present Snap Dragons by Glyn Day. Too late. My cane. Oh, how many does that make it? Uh, well, 25. It's amazing the number of times I beat you at cards. Oh, it's amazing the number of times I lose. Oh, same thing. Cut. Uh, why don't we play chess or something for a change? I'm no good at chess. Yes, but I am. We'll stick to cards. Oh, one of these days, I'm going to surprise you. You want to bet? No. Why not? I'm no good at bets. Oh... Joss is here. I know. Well, why don't you say hello? It's your turn. Oh, no, it's not. I said hello to him last night. Well, it's about time he said hello to one of us for a change. What's he doing? Uh, reading as usual. Ah, I'm sick of this. We're going to have a bath. Hey, hey Joss. Uh, how about a quick game? Uh, no, thanks, Percy. You play on your own. Oh, it's no fun by myself. What's the time? Time you were going to bed. I don't need much sleep. Didn't you know that sleep was good for the brain? No. That figures. Oh, I'm going out. At this time of night? I don't know what time of night it's it is. It's nearly midnight. I'm not going out. Oh. Joss. Yes, Percival? Got a book for me? What would you do with a book? Oh, go to sleep. Have you, Joss? Well, I've got a book, but are you sure you want to read it? Yes, of course. Well, where is it? There are a couple of books in my briefcase, if you care to have a look and choose one. Oh, thanks, Joss. Uh, uh, Joss? Uh, Joss, wh where's your briefcase? Hmm? Oh, dear, I must have left it at Anne's this evening. Sorry, Percival. Oh, why do you guys always confuse me? I, I mean, pull someone else's leg for a change. I've had enough of your teasing. I might not be as bright as you two, but... I don't deserve to be treated like a complete fool, you know. All right, Percy, calm down. We admit that we've treated you badly, and from now on we won't treat you like a complete fool. Joss, from now on we treat Percival like an incomplete fool. Oh, shut up! <laughs> shut up! I'm funny, aren't I? A fool. Well, you're always picking on me. You just wait. One day you'll stop laughing at me. I'm going to show you, Ooh. both of you. Getting all upset, isn't he? Well, I'll be the one who's going to laugh then. Mm -hmm. I've always got to take your taunts and jeers. Oh, Percy can take it. Oh, yes. Percy's too stupid even to have any feelings. Well, you're wrong. I have got feelings. Yes. I always say nothing just to keep the peace. Well, I'm not going to anymore. Mm, we've noticed. What? That you're not going to keep the peace anymore. Oh, go on. See if I care. Oh, say more, Master for Things. For Pete's sake, put a sock in it, will I'm you? I'm going out and I'm not coming back either. You're not married to either of us, darling. So just pack your patched jeans along combinations and go. I am. And you're both going to be sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 
We are sorry. Hey? Yeah, sorry you didn't think of it earlier. Exit Percival in a huff. Silence. Mm. <laughs> and sleep. They just think they rule the world. Well, I'm going to show them. They are not going to laugh at me anymore. Just you wait. I'll show them. So they can beat me at cards. So what? I can also cheat if I want to. And I know Rodney cheats. But I never catch him at it. And if I say anything, he's always got a clever answer. And I end up looking like a fool. <laughs> and Joss. You, you can't even talk to him. He, he's so highbrow, it's a wonder he bothers to share a flat with us. Intellectual stuff and nonsense. Why can't people just be people? I mean, I know I haven't got much between my ears. Heavens, I've been told that enough times. But I'm not stupid. I can feel. I've got feelings. I'm sick of the way everything goes against me. And I do nothing. But it's not going to be like that anymore. I'm going to do something. Something that's going to make them sit up and take notice. But what? Oh, what, for heaven's sake? What am I doing here in the street? Where do I go from here? Oh, I hate having nowhere to go. Nobody cares at all. I might as well be dead. I, I wish I could believe in something. Something that would lead me. I wish I could believe in miracles. Who performs them these days, anyway? Joss? Hey, Joss. Hmm? You want to play a quick game of snap? No. I roll on the days of the illiterate masses. Maybe if none of us learned to read, there'd be more fun in this pseudo-intellectual world. What are you reading, anyway? A book. Oh, go on. Oh, shut up and leave me alone. Everybody wants to be left alone. Why don't you pack your complete works of William Watts's name and leave home like an ego-wounded bookworm? My name's not Percival. You're just as bad. Ah, this is a crazy world. No communication at all. No wonder we have wars. How's Anne? All right. Some love affair. <laughs> when on earth do you two ever get together? Oh, I mean, of course, to exchange viewpoints on the social and political situation. Oh, shut up. Turn that music off, will you? <sighs> Where do you think he is? Well, if you're referring to our ex-friend Percival, I don't know, and I can't say I care. Well, he must be somewhere. Mm, a very acute observation. It's been over a week and nobody's seen or heard from him since he left. Missing him, are you? Oh, no, of course not. Don't be so stupid. I checked up at the factory and they haven't seen him since last Friday. I mean, something must have happened to him. Oh, for heaven's sake, Joss, he's a human being. We were the only friends he had in the whole world. You know that. <sighs> Poor fool. A bit of a change from the way you spoke to him last week. I didn't notice you begging him not to go. I was only joking. I didn't think he meant it when he said he was going. He's never really got upset about it before. I thought maybe he was just going to the cafe for some cigarettes and that he'd creep back a few minutes later. Hmm, but he didn't. If you're so concerned, why didn't you do something about it on the night he walked out? Hmm? I don't know. Do you think I should have informed the police or something? Hmm, missing persons bureau. Yes, of course. A description, please. Protruding ears, uh, sort of stupid looking, about 25. Was he a friend of yours? No. Hmm, I see. Well, why do you want us to find him? Oh, quit it, will you? <laughs> right on cue. Do you want to bet that's Mr. Percival himself, returning like a lamb for the slaughter? And in half an hour, you'll be just as rude to him as you were before he left. You just bury your nose in your highfalutin book and leave this to me. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ah, so you... Mr. P. Rogers. Uh, no, no, my, my 
My name's Jackson, uh, Rodney Jackson. Mr. Rogers doesn't live here anymore. At least, uh, that is, he hasn't been here for over a week now. I see. Uh, mind if I come in, sir? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, he's... he's not in trouble, is he? That's what we want to find out. Now, may we come in? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, come in. Ah, thank you. My name is Sayers, and this is Constable Jenkins. Uh, how, how do you do, Sergeant? Inspector. Uh, Inspector. Uh, this is my friend, uh, Joss Baker. Uh, good uh, evening, Inspector. How do you do that? Uh, have you found him, then? No. We thought you might be able to help us do just that. What's he done? Well, we're not sure that he's done anything. You may remember that there was a robbery just over a week ago at Bonzo's Cake Shop just down the road. We have reason to suspect that your friend was hanging around the street on the night that it happened. We thought maybe he could throw some light on the matter. Bonzo's? Good heavens, he, he couldn't have. Couldn't have what, Mr. Jackson? I think my friends just realized that Bonzo's was burgled on the same night that Percival disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. You see, we had a bit of a row with old Percy, and he walked out on us, and we haven't seen him since. Have you tried to contact him? Uh, well, I inquired down at the factory. No. Jason's construction. Yes, we checked them. Uh, they knew nothing about him? No. Well, we really don't know how we can help, Inspector. No, I don't suppose you do. But if he does turn up, you will contact us, won't you? Yes, of course. I never thought Percival would have the guts to do such a thing. We're not saying he did, Mr. Baker. But he might have seen something which might help us to find out who did. The fact that uh, Mr. Rogers didn't return home that night and hasn't been seen or heard of since makes us a little anxious to find him, if you know what I mean. Are you suggesting that uh, Percival could have been hurt or something? Anything is possible, Mr. Baker. We must look at this from all angles and try to find us something that, that will sort of throw light on the situation. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. And I hope you do the same for us. Yes, of course, Inspector. Oh, by the way... Why didn't you report to the police that your friend was missing? Uh, well, we were going to, but, well, uh, we, we thought he was joking, see? Yes, he, uh, he, he worried a lot, you know, uh, over uh, yes. trifles. Mm. He was sensitive about things, too. Not very intelligent, either, but not really stupid. He's a good chap, really. I see. Well, thank you again. Good night, sir. Uh, good night, Inspector. Uh, uh, good night. Well... <sighs> Exits Inspector and one dumb assistant. Yeah, he didn't say a word the whole time he was here. Paid to keep his mouth shut, I suppose. <laughs> Probably got a photographic memory. Did you notice the way his eyes took in every detail of the flat in one fell swoop? <laughs> yeah. Well, that saves us a trip to the police station anyway. I wonder if Percival had anything to do with that robbery. What do you think? How can you be so idiotic? Percival? <laughs> he wouldn't have the intelligence to rob a blind beggar. I mean, can you imagine him working out a plan to steal something from someone and get away with it? No, but under stress, people do things that they're not normally capable of. And he was under stress. I mean, he walked out of here as if he really wanted to do something that he'd never done before. Oh, do shut up, Rodney. I sometimes wonder if you have any more intelligence than our Percival. And what an imagination. I don't know. He couldn't have, I suppose. On the other hand, he could have. <laughs> Rock Grip's unique paint covers add new windows to your world. The Isles of Greece. Harsh light, arid landscape. On stony slopes, gnarled vineyards and olives stand stubbornly rooted. Wild olive, inspired by the clean, spare qualities of the Isles. Created specially by Rock Grip, Wild Olive brings a tawny, rugged beauty into your home, adds a new window to your world. And with Rock Grip quality, you're sure of a paint that will last. Ever suffer from real pain? Pain so excruciating, it leaves you feeling shattered and groggy. You need Cura Extra Strength Pain Powders. A single Cura powder is as strong a painkiller as you can buy without restriction. Cura powders are specially for migraines, tension headaches, toothache, and those nagging muscular and rheumatic pains. Cura, K-U-R-R-A, the extra strength pain powders.
Where are we going, Joss? Oh, I don't know. Just thought we'd take a spin into the country. Uh, it's tough not knowing what to do with oneself on a Sunday, isn't it? Mm. Have you seen anything in the paper about the robbery? What robbery? Well, the robbery, stupid. The one Percival's involved in. Oh, that. No, there's been nothing lately. Anyway, we don't know Percival is involved or not, do we? Well, it must look pretty suspicious to the police, though. Yeah, I guess it does. Hey, isn't this the way to Anne's? Yes, yes, it is. Are we going to see her, then? Might as well drop in. Seem to have cooled off somewhat. But what goes on between you two? You haven't seen her for weeks. Well, it's not me, old chap. She's studying or something. So I said I'd leave her alone for a bit in the evenings. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, you didn't have a row, then. Do I have to go through a cross-examination just because I haven't seen my girlfriend for a couple of weeks? Oh, sorry. Well, as a matter of fact, um, well, I, I have gone off her. She isn't very bright, anyway. So why bother going and see her now? Just because... Looks all shut up. You should have phoned. Well, we're here now, so might as well see if she's home or not. Ah, hello, Anne. Hello, Joss. Uh, Rodney and I wondered if you'd like to come for a spin this afternoon. Oh, uh, are you still studying? No, I'm not studying, but I'm busy with something this afternoon, thanks all the same. Oh, can't it keep? I haven't seen you for ages. Well, that's not my fault, is it? You know where I am. You could easily have popped in to say hello on your way home from work. Yes, well, I've, uh, I've been working hard, you know, and... Oh, been... don't make excuses to me, Mr. Joss Baker. I think, taking everything into consideration, you should just forget about me in the future and find someone else who tag along every time you snap your fingers. Uh, what do you mean? I, I mean, look here, we've been good friends and all, and, and you just can't deal... Well, <laughs> how to end friendships and influence suckers. Oh, shut up. Where to now? Oh, and if you want to go out, you can walk. Well, how was I? Oh, you were great, Anne, <laughs> but I would have loved to have seen his face. <laughs> it was a picture, I tell you. Well, Percival, where do we go to from here? Next step is to phone him tomorrow and ask for me. Say you want to discuss something. Hello, Joss Baker speaking. Hello, Joss. Anne here. Oh, hello, Anne. I, I was going to give you a ring. Look, I I'm sorry about it. yesterday. I was a oh, little bit... Oh, no need to be sorry, Joss. I was the one who was rude. But look, I haven't phoned to apologize, so don't get the wrong idea, okay? I wanted a word with Percival. Percival? But, but he's not here. He hasn't been here for over a week. Surely you knew. How could I have known? I haven't seen you for over a week. Well, he walked out on us one night, and we haven't seen him since. Why? Why what? Well, to tell you the truth, we upset him a bit. You're just teasing him, though. <laughs> you know how it is. Yes, as usual. You might think yourself so clever, don't you? Why couldn't you have left him alone? Or, or tried to be more friendly towards him? Oh, I've seen how you tormented him. Where's he now? I honestly don't know, Anne. He could be anywhere. Uh, the police are searching for him, too. Well, it was the same night that that cake shop was burgled. Uh, Bonzo's, you know. And they think that Percival might have had something to do with it. Oh, how ridiculous can they get? Well, anyway, if he does pitch up, ask him to give me a ring. Okay, Anne. Uh, look, what about us... Uh, hello? Hello? Oh. Hi, what's new? Uh, nothing much. Anne phone. A reconciliation? I wanted to talk to Percy. Go on. Hmm. She didn't know anything about his leaving or anything. What did she want to talk to him about? Well, she didn't say. And when she heard he'd left, she had a go at me for the way I treated him and then slammed the phone oh, down. Oh, very ladylike, I'm sure. You know, I've been thinking about that. Uh, the phone call, I mean. She never really knew Percival. So why should she want to talk to him now? Especially now. Now? Now that he's disappeared. I've got an idea about something. Come on, let's go. Where to? To Anne's. Well, are you coming or aren't you? I don't understand what's going on, but I'm coming. So you see, Percy. 
Percy. You've got to do something now. There just may be trouble for you. Oh, I didn't realize what had happened. Oh, I, I'm sorry you're mixed up in all of this. But I think the next step is a fairly simple one. Now, don't do anything silly. Oh, now, don't worry, Anne. There's always a right and a wrong in this world. I thought that I could make things right, and, and I only succeeded in doing a lot of wrong, which wasn't what I'd meant at all. But it's done me a lot of good and, and has taught me a lot. Well, that's for sure. But now it's up to me. I think all my things are packed. Where are you going? To the police station. But, but why, Percy? I'm going to tell them everything from the beginning. Oh, where is the beginning? I, I don't know, Anne. But since I met you, I, I knew that someday I would find one. And if there has to be a new beginning for anyone, I... Yes. Well, go on. Well, you, you've taught me a lot about searching in the right direction. And if anything happens to me, I know that you'll be here just the same as always. And that's very important to me. What, what are you trying to say, Percy? Well, I, I'm, I'm not very good at it, I, I know. But, well, I think I've fallen in love with you. Think? You're laughing at me. Oh, only because... Because I feel the same way about you. Then... Then whatever happens, you... Whatever happens, I'll be here waiting for you. Well, here goes. Wish me luck. Oh, I do, I do. I... What's that? What? It sounds like... It, it is. Quickly, Percy, out the back way. Why? Who is it? It's Joss's car. They must have suspected something when I phoned. Now, quickly, Percy. All right, I'm going. Uh, try to keep them here a while. I, I will. J just a minute. Oh. Hello, Joss. Hello. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Then you just spoken to you on the phone. Any news of Percy? Where is he? Where's who? Percy. That's what I phoned you about. Look, I know he's here. Oh, good. Then maybe you can find him for me. Do come inside. Right. Now, enjoy your little search. And when you've finished, I want both of you back in here, sitting down and shutting up. Because there's a heck of a lot I want to say to you. That's just about the whole story, Inspector, as far as I can remember. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. I'm glad you came along to me. Saved us a lot of trouble. What, what are you going to do? Well, I'm not sure, Mr. Rogers. Of course, we will have to ask you to stay here for a while. Oh. Constable Jenkins will look after you. We have to check on your story first, and then, well, we'll see how soon we can let you go. Oh, you're, you're not at all like I imagined, if you don't mind me saying so. What did you imagine? Well, inspectors are always tight-lipped and tough. Oh, you're not like that at all. Oh, on the screen, maybe. But we are human, you know. Is there anything else you want to know? No. You just leave everything to me. Hey, Rodney, have you seen the papers? Percival's picture's all over the front page. Mm, I know, I've seen them. But, but have you read what it says? Yeah, blooming hero. He'll be off to Hollywood next, playing cops and robbers for Samuel Goldwyn. Mr. Percival Rogers, without whose assistance the police could never have tracked down one of the largest smash-and-grab rings in the country, is a local All boy. right, all right, I've read it. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing. Yes, there is. You're jealous. That's what? He said that he'd show us up, and he has. Uh, coming. Percy. Hey, Rodney, it's, it's Percy and Anne. Well, well. Come inside. Hello, Joss. I, uh, I, I brought a bottle. Uh, thought we might have a little drink for old times' sake. Sure. Sure, come in and uh, make yourselves comfortable. Uh, hello, Rodney. Well, you've been playing cards. Oh, hello, Anne. Yeah, I'm not very good, but I used to beat Percy. I yeah. found some glasses. Will you pour, Rodney? Oh, sure. Uh, saw the papers, Percival. Oh, congratulations. We thought, uh... <laughs> Well, we thought all sorts of things when you left. Uh, yeah, I know. But that's all over now, so l let's not talk about it. I've, I've found a new beginning in my life, and the ending is going to be happier than I ever could have imagined. Well, if it hadn't been for you two, I, I would never have known where or when to start my search. Oh, the robbery was just a little incident which happened along the way. What are you talking about, old chap? Joss, Anne and I are engaged to be married. 
Anyone for a game of snap? <laughs> What's the matter, Joss? Would you rather play Happy Families? You know something, Percy? I think you played your cards better than I ever played with jokers up my sleeve. <laughs> You've got yourselves a royal flush, Percival. Rodney? Yeah? Let's drink a toast to Percival and Anne. To their new beginning and to our future. Our future? Yes. It's going to be different, Rodney. From now on, I cheat when we play Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yourself behind the wheel of Leyland's Austin Marina. The car with the heart of an MGB, the steering of an E-type Jaguar, the flair of a Triumph, and the long life of a Land Rover. Imagine the feel of sporty twin-car power, a high-performance engine, hefty torque that makes for minimal gear changing at low speeds, and the superb road-holding of a wide-track stance. Austin Marina 1,8, the family car that comes to life at your Leyland dealer now. At Caress, you pay only 10% deposit. Pay less at Caress and pay later. A diamond from Caress is what love is. At Caress, you get so much more for so much less. In Tuesday Theatre, you heard Snap Dragons by Glyn Day, with Stephen Barden as Rodney Jackson and Roger Service taking the part of Joss Baker. Others in the cast were Robert Gordon, Reg Richards, and Margaret Milner Smythe. The play was produced by Henry Diffenthal. <laughs>